I'm Spencer Scott Holmes, creator of the sitcom-styled indie comp book series, Pizza Boys, that's Boys with a Z. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a time-lapse of your drawing in Clip Studio Paint. Let's jump on in. Okay, so now that we're in, all you gotta do is load up a file, whatever you're gonna be drawing and whatnot. I got my latest issue of Pizza Boys right here, issue 13. I got some inking to do, so this is gonna be the perfect one that I'm gonna run a time lapse on. I'm gonna do this middle section right here with my Pizza Girls characters and whatnot, stand out in front of the pizza wagon and what have you. The whole thing is it records literally this section right here boom what you're drawing on your canvas that's the only thing that gets recorded in the time lapse it's not like a screen grab or anything like that where you see all your tools and everything else you've been doing and what have you makes it nice and easy super simple and clear so all you gotta do to get that time lapse going and get the recording starting is boom go up the file come on down to right here where it says time lapse come on over click record time lapse you come on down and all you gotta do is now just start drawing and it's gonna be recording the whole time. We'll time lapse ahead to the future. Okay, and now that we believe that we are all done with our whole drawing and time lapse, at least for the moment, go up the file once again go over to time lapse and then whatever you do do not click the record time lapse thing yet because that's just going to tell you if you want to delete the file and we don't want to do that yet we need to export this first so go to export this will bring up a window of all kinds of options you'll have length size aspect ratio I mean generally I just keep it to like the 4 by 5 but you know I mean if you go 16 by 9 it, it just makes it uh have extra widescreen bars on it you know so but depending on what you're going with, you know, you can keep it right at original. Boom. No sidebars, no whatever. Yeah, you got 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or kind of the whole thing. I always feel that 30 and 15 are generally the way to go. If you had a real, real thick, long piece, you know, a big old, like, it took you eight hours to do or something like that, well, then maybe the 60 seconds or all that kind of stuff would be kind of, you know, the more detail, the more you want there. But... I feel for if you're doing YouTube shorts or if you want anything for like Instagram and what have you, the 15 and 30 seconds are kind of the nice one. Sometimes I like to just render out both of them because, you know, might as well have the choices because once you end that recording, it, it deletes the file. So let's start with the 15. Click OK. OK. Then we find the place we want to save it at. Name it what we have here. I'm just going to call this boop, 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 boop. Let's see. Just sunrise. What, what page am I on? Page 12. And I'll just call this the short. Let's go. Boom. Save. And then it's always a good idea to go and check it real quick. Because you would not want to... Uh, do all that work of recording it and then have it disappear on you. Uh, hey, here we go. Boom, we'll just click the short version. And hey, there it goes. Plays on out. Got that there. There's the time lapse of the inking. And then, you know, if you always want to, you can in the video editor just crop it to which panel you want it to be because it always sort of records just the full page no matter what. So it works great for singular drawings really easily. I mean, you do have to do some extra editing if you want to just get like a panel or anything like that just cropped in there and however you want it to be but boom now that that's all done we saw that there we'll go back into clip studio real quick and then once you're all said and done and you know you're 100 percent finished with that time lapse go back to the time lapse click the record time lapse again it's going to ask you of a little warning right here delete and turn off so boom it kind of deletes that file so if you did not export it there it went it's gone forever you got to do another drawing over again I guess that's not the worst thing but you know just keep that in mind and boom that's it that's all there is nice and simple you gotta like that part there but um more clip studio paint stuff coming your way till then if you want you can check out my pizza boys comic I'll leave a link in the description like share subscribe all that fun jazz till then I'm Spencer Scott Holmes see you some other time <laughs>